Continuous delivery is a software development practice that automates the build, test, and deployment phases of the software development lifecycle, enabling rapid and safe delivery of new features and bug fixes. Guess what? Harness CD is one tool that you need that lets you take control. So with Harness CD, visually define your deployment processes in minutes without writing complex scripts and start speeding up your deployment times today. Let's take a guided tour and see it in action. Head over to harness.io, click on product and choose continuous delivery and GitOps. Now click on get started, which will take you to the sign up page. And now click on sign up with email, enter the email, Give it a password. So now check your inbox for the verification email. So I'll copy the verification link from my inbox and paste it here. Email verified successfully. So after signing up successfully, you will see the CD onboarding page. And it takes only four steps to run your very first deployment pipeline. And the first step is to select deployment type where we have Kubernetes and deployment type is how your service will be deployed, whether it's a microservice on Kubernetes or as a serverless Lambda and so forth. And in the short demo, I'll deploy a sample microservice application on Kubernetes. Click next. In this step, we'll connect Harness to our environment by installing a Kubernetes delegate. And environment basically means the target Kubernetes cluster and delegate is like an agent that will be running in our cluster that is used to pull in the needed artifacts and manifest uh, for the deployment and then deploys the microservice application. So to deploy a delegate, all you have to do is copy this one command. And if you want, you could uh, use your own custom name. I'll give OPF and delegate and just copy this command. So the command we copied is a Helm command, uh, which will deploy delegate via Helm charts. Now before uh, running the command, let's check the available namespaces. So there is no um, harness delegate namespace. Now let's paste the command. As you can see, the status is deployed and kubectl get namespace. Harness delegate fng. Let's check the pops. It's running. So let's click on verify on the Harness CUI. So delegate installed and started successfully and it also sent a heartbeat to the Harness manager. So now we can confirm that Harness is connected to our environment and you can see the environment details in here. Now click configure service. Services are nothing but a logical representation of the microservices application that you want to deploy. And uh, from Harness CD, you can deploy a service uh, with Kubernetes manifest file or via Helm charts. So for this demo, I'll choose the sample manifest file provided by Harness. Or if you want to use your own manifest file, uh, which is stored in your Git repo, you can connect your Git repo by choosing Git as an option, give your account URL, and then uh, the repository name, choose the authentication method and then verify connection and it's all good to go. So let's choose sample manifest. You can check the deployment.yaml. It's going to deploy a basic application. Here are the values for it. Now let's select the artifact repository. I'll go with Docker registry, Docker hub. All we have to do is click on the test connection, successful. So it's using harness to do list type and sample uh, Docker image and then using the tag latest. Now click on create pipeline. Now our deployment pipeline is ready for launch and you can check the pipeline details here. Deployment type it's uh, Kubernetes. Basically it's going to install microservice application and delegate is uh, installed in our cluster. Here are the environment details and uh, we are deploying a sample application. Uh, via Kubernetes manifest file, which is stored in Harness file store and pulling image from Docker registry. So before running this pipeline, let's check our kube cluster once. kubectl get pods. So there are no pods found. Now let's run the pipeline. It started successfully. And you can toggle console view.
so your delegate is fetching the artifact image and uh, infrastructure connector validator welcome message so here it's deploying the sample servers now we can check kubectl get pods and the pipeline ran successfully so that's how easy it is to get started with harness cd and you can also implement different use cases uh, by following the cd tutorials available on developer hub head over to developer.harness.io click on tutorials deploy services so here are the tutorials which you can follow to implement different use cases so that's it for this video Thanks for watching and subscribe to Harness Community YouTube channel to watch more such videos.